Rusky's Crypto Cave here. We are going to go over the July profitability for my mining farm. And here's my spreadsheet that I have in Excel that I, I log every payment transaction. Like I said in the last video for the first profitability one, I don't log it until it hits my wallet because that is the taxable event. Uh, so at the beginning of Monte Cassiero, I was mining Neoxa. Uh, this is a... Uh, Parallel Asset Payout from Flux, the Ethereum Classic from the Jazz Miner, Zilliqa, Litecoin, Radiant, Flux again. That's also a Parallel Asset Payout. Uh, so the numbers are going to be a little inflated this month uh, just because of the uh, Flux Parallel Asset Payouts. Um, that happened early on in the month. And then I also uh, started mining Ergo to uh, the Mining King's Pool um, instead of Hero Miners. Uh, so my payout there was set at 20, and then I believe this is a payout of two blocks because of the amount of hash rate I had there. I think that's a block there. There's a block. There's two blocks payout. There's a block. Another one. That one, I believe the wallet gut was locked, and they had to unlock it to make payouts. Uh, so I got pretty much, I think, four uh, block payouts right there. And then the same thing with Radiant, uh, mining Radiant to uh, the Mining King's Pools. Uh, so there's the last couple of payouts there. 10,000, 9,000, 3,000. I, I believe I added, a, I switched off of Caspa triple mining to Radiant triple mining, so my hash rate increased as well. So that's why the, that's another reason for the increase in Radiant payout. Uh, cause I'm still waiting on my KS0. Um, Email the company I ordered it from. Which is a, it's a large company. It's not like a little fly-by-night one. Uh, I'm not going to put them on blast yet, but uh, it was supposed to be a July batch, and it's still not here, and we are at August 2nd. So we'll see about that. Uh, I typically ordered all my other ASICs off BT miners and didn't have any issues. This is the first one I ordered from somebody else, and now there's an issue, and it's taking an extremely long time. And I've seen people that bought them after I bought mine and still don't have them. I still don't have it. And they re received theirs already, so that'll be the first and last time I'll buy from that outfit. Um, but anyway, back to to what I'm mining. Um, let's hop over in Hive. There's YouTube. Thirty uh, seventies triple mining Ergo Radiant and Zilliqa. Thirty eighties are on Dynex. Twenty eighty Ti's are on Dynex. Sixteen uh, sixty Ti's are on Dynex. Uh, my 23060 Ti rigs are both triple mining Ergo, Radiant, and Zilliqa. Uh, this 3070 is still on Flux. Uh, and this 3070 rig here is also on Dynex. And my 2070s are on Dynex. Uh, the 20, 20 series rigs are pretty efficient on Dynex, I must say. Um, they are doing pretty well, I, I believe. In my opinion, anyway. And then I have a 3070 Ti rig. It's solo mining a lithium on Hero Miners. I've been hitting a few blocks here and there. Um, so giving it about a month to see how it works out, um, whether it's better to solo mine or just pull mine. Let's go hop in there right now. Currently at 126% luck. And each block is 2.69, I believe it is. 2.68. So that last block wasn't the greatest, but uh, 2.68 lithium. So you can see I had almost a little over 10 blocks, 10, 12 blocks, something like that, uh, since I've been doing it. Uh, so we'll probably revisit that at the end of this month, because somewhere near the end of July is when I started uh, solo mining. I don't remember exactly when, but that's when I switched it over. But we'll give it a full month to August, and then... Uh, Reevaluate and see what I'll do going forward. Well, back to the spreadsheet. Um, on this side for node payouts, pre search nodes and flux nodes, it's a Nimbus node, is what I'm running. There were host nodes online, is where I have my uh, Nimbus node hosted. It did go down for seven, eight days, I believe it was, for maintenance. Um, and they are going to reimburse, so I think I missed two, possibly three payments. Uh, so this 3194 will be slightly higher. Um, but as you can see, each uh, flux node payout is only 
roughly a dollar ninety, dollar eighty, two bucks or so, something like that. So not a huge, huge difference. And then below it is the DeFi um, that is on Spectrum Finance with Ergo, and basically providing liquidity, liquidity with Ergo and Sigma USD, and then uh, staking it to receive some of that farming yield. And they pay an S F SPF tokens. I was getting about initially it was about 11 SPF a day. Then I dropped down to about 10.3 as it got closer to the end, and more and more um, people were taking advantage of it. These are the payouts that I have received so far, and then I was just kind of tallying it up what I have earned. It's still in the staking pool, I think. The whole time I was staking stuff in the Spectrum Finance, I probably earned about 40, 50 ergo. Uh, so it looked like it might be pretty lucrative to do that. Um, yeah, pr the program with this did end though August 1st. So I'm waiting. I didn't pull it out yet out of the liquidity pool because I'm waiting to see um, if they're going to have another farming opportunity just want to keep on sending it back and forth back and forth so on and so forth but as you can see here that was what 28 bucks just for kind of doing nothing just letting the ergo sit there instead of in my wallet so i'll take that um then total income for the month for nodes DeFi, everything was 1776.62 and like i said earlier that is a little bit inflated because of the uh, um parallel asset airdrops from flux but I believe I also received two Bitcoin payouts. So $300 there. And, oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe it was just one. Yeah, it probably was just one. Because actually, come to think of it, I just received a payout today. So, and today is August 2nd, about 4.22 p.m. Um, Ergo Blocks helped there. That was a nice payout. Uh, let's go back to the income statement. This will show um, year to date so far, uh, but total revenue for the month of July and the electric. So the total profit after paying electric is thousand fifty eight and sixty cents. Uh, so we see double from what last month was. So that's a pretty good increase. Bulk of that is the parallel asset payouts, but hey, I'll take it. Let's see, I did not do any more KDA sales. I'm still, my last three payouts I did not sell. As you can see, I didn't sell any KDA since May 28th. Um, when I was at 75 cents, it's currently at 55 cents. I was hoping to maybe sell some once, once it gets up a little bit higher. Because uh, I do have a couple hundred just sitting in, in my Zellcore wallet just waiting to sell. Because uh, my game plan with my iBlink BMK3 is... Mine it, sell it, mine it, sell, mine sell. Keep a little bit to, to, in a bag to build a bag over time, but for the most part, sell the bulk of it just to recoup as much as I can for that uh, ASIC. So that did cost me about four grand, 4200 somewhere around there. Um, so I'm trying to just recoup as much as I can. I've cashed out about 1200 bucks so far. So not even, like, basically like a quarter of it is what I paid off so far. And I think the amount of Kadena I have sitting in my wallet is maybe 300 bucks, Somewhere around that range. So, not quite there yet. Gonna need a pump in KDA to, to pay that puppy off. Game plan with that too is in the next bull run. Uh, and that puppy's getting sold. I'm gonna sell that and... I'm uh, thinking about picking up a few more Bitcoin ASICs and sitting on them. And just basically hold on to them until either turn them on or if I get more power and run another 30 amp to my shed or even just hold them to sell them during a bull run uh, just to get the price appreciation in the miner itself. But I haven't done that yet. That yet. So, but all in all, happy with the results from July. I'm uh, near the end of the month. Actually, I'll go back here. I did start mining Dynex. The first pay, that was the first Dynex payout around the 21st or somewhere around the third week of July is when I started mining it. And uh, that is being mined to Deep Miners Pool. The link will be in the description below. And also the link to Mining King's Pools will be uh, in the description as well. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's almost like team mining. 
um, on Mining King's Pools because there's not a whole lot of miners there. So each payout for the block rewards I get are, are a good chunk instead of being little tiny fractions. You're not getting them as often. It could be two, three, four days before you hit a block, but uh, the payouts are pretty good. So I'm happy with that, and I'm going to keep my rigs there. And then Deep Miners keep is uh, has been getting more and more hash rate. Um, it's, I think it just recently moved up to fourth place in you know, mining pool stats as far as pools go. But, uh, but the Dynex has been pretty much the most profitable coin on a lot of the cards. So I'm going to build a bag and then gradually start selling some of it just to uh, recoup some cost or some cost or maybe even swap it to bitcoin uh, we'll see um because i'm i have a goal as far as bitcoin to get to two whole bitcoins and i had the first one and i'm only like 30 percent of the way to the second one so i'd like to get the two two full bitcoins before uh the next halving which is what next may so that would be nice but so we just gotta keep on mining <laughs> All my CPU rigs are on NiceHash, RandomX, and actually what I have been doing is I've been um, doing the catch the block thing. I did hit two Raven blocks. Here is one of them. Um, I still I didn't sell the Raven. I just basically it's just sitting in my Zellcore wallet. I had a stupid notification. And there's another one up here, and there's the other one. Um, and the last one I did, I did not hit a block. I did the chromium medium. I guess it is chromium M for like 17, 18 bucks and didn't hit anything. So that was all my funds in there. So now I have to let that build back up again and try to smash another one. But anyway, that's update for July. 1776.62 was gross and net was 1058.60. All in all, good month. I'm happy with it. Looking forward to August being as good or better. But until the next video, we'll catch you later.